You are now entering Row Row's World. It's so much, babe. Watch us, watch us do our thing. It's so much, babe. Watch us, watch us do our thing. What's up, guys? Welcome to Row Row's World. I'm going to show you how to make a quick dinner when you're in a rush. Okay. We got our noise. Um, chicken flavor fettuccine. Just gonna open both of them up, put them things right off over in here, like right so. Bam, got that. Get you a can of cream of chicken. It ain't got to be fancy, just whatever's on. Y'all know I show y'all the cheap way to cook, baby, and the flavor's still gonna be bust. Just dump that over in there like that. Right there. Let's oh, get the rest of this out. Cause you want all your cream chicken in there. It's a really good dish. Really quick, really fast. Um, I sprayed the bottom of the pan. I got my oven on 350. Okay. Okay, now since we did that, we are going to add, let me stir it up, about a can of the chicken, so a can of the chicken broth, okay? Add that. And we're just gonna mix this junk in. I ain't gonna call it junk. Okay, and don't think your cream of chicken got to be Mixed in perfectly because it don't. Okay. Get that in there. And how y'all doing today, by the way? Okay, once it is evenly coated halfway, just about. 75% of the way mixed in, then you good, okay? Perfecto. After you do that, gonna add a little, the rest of your um, bra. Now, we're gonna set that to the side, and we're gonna season our chicken tenderloins that I have on the plate here. Okay, I got some Slap Your Mama, we're not going to heavily season it because um, the Norse um, chicken fettuccine or whatever already have quite a bit of seasoning on there. Then we use the, um, some chicken broth as well, which is um, sodium in that. So, okay. So I put black pepper, crushed red pepper, because I like a little bit of a kick. Um, onion powder. Okay. I'm gonna go in with some adobo. Garlic powder. Some paprika. And then a little taint of accent. Okay, now we got all that together. Go mix that in. Once you mix that in, we're just going to layer it right over on top of your little mix you got going on over here. And pull that back so you guys can see. Okay. Just put it right over on top of it.
Then you're gonna wrap it and put it in the oven, okay? We're gonna keep it in the oven for about, check on it at 30 minutes. So we're gonna check on it at 30 minutes and see if it's done. And then we're gonna come back. I usually um, take about 45 minutes, okay? Be right back. All right, so my chicken is ready, it's ready as you can see. What I'm gonna do is just fold because I want it, it to be extra creamy so it won't be dry, okay? So I wanna just kinda like fold the sauce in there into my noodles, okay? And fold the chicken and everything into the noodles. So you're gonna do that and then we're gonna top it with some cheese. So let me finish folding my sauce in and the chicken and everything in there and then I'm gonna put cheese on top and I'm gonna come back and let you guys see how it look. Okay, okay, okay guys. Here is the finishing product. Don't it look yummy? Didn't I tell you it's gonna be juicy? You, it's nothing like dry pasta. And when you put it in the oven, it could be dry really quickly. So look at that. Oh my God, look at the chip. Oh my gosh, you guys let me know how you like it. If you enjoy it, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Hi. We ready? We about to show you how it tastes like. I'm nervous. I never tried this dish before. Let me tell you. We gonna show them the biscuit. It's hot. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show them the biscuit. We got a garlic biscuit. It's probably gonna taste weird. I don't even know what you would call this dish, y'all. Let's see what Maya think of that. It felt like I tasted this before. You did? Mmm. It's very flavorful. Cause that chicken the steam just coming off of it. It's juicy. It's hot. You can't even see. Mmm. Mm. The seasoning on is perfect. I really like it. The chicken with the pasta. I love cheese, so I, I melt cheese on top of pretty much anything. It didn't have to have cheese, but I just wanted cheese. How about you? Like cheese or no? Mm -hmm. Okay. Turn into Nick Avocado. <laughs> you, like you, like, you like You like cheese. Just like him. I'm going to start teasing every single video. Yep. Do you think Quincy will like this? He is so tough to please, I swear. Anything new is, is like, you could just go to fry me some chicken. You ain't have to do this or anything. I gotta get in there, y'all. Okay, it kind of cooled down, but it's still kind of hot, so. This is the biscuit. You showed them. I did? I, mean, I showed them, I mean. You did? Mm-hmm. Is this the cinnamon one? Mm-mm. I threw some cinnamon on it. Probably hit the bottom of it. Got a lot going on there, you know. Mm -hmm. I taste cinnamon, I taste garlic, and I taste biscuit. When I cook the biscuit, y'all, do you have cinnamon and honey? And brown sugar on top of some and the other half I did regular. And of course the brown sugar melted down and got on some of the other biscuits, which was fine for breakfast, but right now. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm on left. Where was it? I'm gonna check my phone. Huh? I thought I heard a song. Okay, y'all. We ain't trying to keep you too long. We just want to share this um, new dish with you guys. Give you our feedback. Um, I wouldn't cook it again. Let me just say. I like it, but this is not my style. You can cook the noodles again. Mm-hmm. Okay, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your phone. Mm-mm. What you get this dish out of one to five? A four. Like you get it a three. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a three. I give my brisket a two. <laughs> it tastes funny. Okay, y'all. Stay alive. What you got to say? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your days. Okay. That too. Since we've been gone. Mm-hmm. All right.